Hello everybody, welcome to the fourth quarter final. We've got um, Rick choosing where to use his kickoff return. We've got Rick Reckless with JFW Forever is Chaos Dwarves. Oh, what he's caught the ball in the rain on a six plus on his ball. <laughs> Just Rick Dice <laughs> up against Rick Dice Lamar Saleh. Very beginning. <laughs> up against Lamar Saleh with his high elves. And in the booth with me is Purple Chest and Kefool. Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, little wrestlers. <laughs> yes. Go on. This time it is evening. And we got the FW for forever. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, that? that's so Rick. That's so Rick. He just instantly can't. Oh, he blitzes. He's got Juggernaut. He's got Juggernaut. He gets to power him more. Oh, he gets to remove him. Look at the Does Juggernaut. Does he power for more damage? He can't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Wow, a little bit of restraint there from Rick. Except a KO. Uh, <laughs> only a KO. <laughs> now, interestingly, he had set his line of scrimmage up uh, in a way I quite liked. He was going to get his three hits and uh, and free up two of his guards to come and defend wherever the ball was. But now, of course, the ball is on a bull centaur, and uh, he can just use the line of scrimmage as the defence, yeah, no, making it a really, really strong and stable. <laughs> ah, yes, another another classic JFW reference. <laughs> yes, Not I think it was first used there, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, made famous, of course, by Theresa Mim, the acting general manager of <laughs> Clarence <and> Stanford. <laughs> He's going to pile here, surely. Yeah. Now, and Lamar that, Soleil that, does have 13 players, so we might see a cheeky foul here, mightn't we? Well, I mean, there is a, a completely crap uh, of getting a hit right there if it stays on the pitch. He's in a lovely position to dodge out and kick that uh, dwarf. Yeah, in the and he can even uh, block the guard on the side to get even get appropriate amount yeah, of get, this uh, one. That could be certainly could be plus three, couldn't it? <laughs> and, and another two, he could he could put in a player here, couldn't he, and then chain him off. So he could have yep. one, two, three. He could have four assists here if he wanted. Yeah. If he yeah. really wanted. <sighs> and Rick yeah. has has never really been that worried about uh, getting fouled back after he piles on. Um, from what I've seen, uh, does a little bit of defending of them if possible, but he won't go out of his way for it. No. Oh, oh he's killed a guy. <laughs> oh well, that was injured already, dude, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 It's a oh. moment for Bludger. The movement for Bludger, yeah. <laughs> That's probably actually better being dead. Let's face it. That's kind of a not, win. Not the first time Rick's killed. I think exactly. we all know that. Yeah. Lovely fella, Rick, isn't he? That's, that's just euthanasia, that really. <laughs> it's, it's sweet, merciful release for the poor fucking movement four player. <laughs> oh wow! Glorious. This is no, classic Rick, isn't it? In. Catches the kick off, kills I'm a guy, KO, and, and I now will defend. without the wizard. I will defend. Lamar yes, two, two removals out of four. Um, I, I really thought Lamar say had 150k in the bank. I really thought he would spaff it on a wizard after he, this match. Like I was, he could actually get. I might even, but he do have wrestle strip ball. So two dice uphill is not like unthinkable against the bull. No. Yeah, you'd have to cancel the two hobgoblins and uh, and come in from behind, wouldn't you? <laughs> just. As about to say, you just need to catch some one hop coming coming from the side if you want to. It's yeah, for red dice anyway. It, yeah, because yeah. it's red dice anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Don't even don't even cancel anything. You just go in, bosh. Ah, uh, you, you want to cancel one, so it's not three dice. You Otherwise, could come it's in three, the back. You could come in the back. Could yeah, you? you could go yes. all the way. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And the advantage of coming you've got in the in. Yeah. behind, if it's if it's powers, of course, you get to push the ball and the bull into the point where there's a really good <laughs> chance of scattering through to the front. Yeah. This is looking more like we're setting up a foul on that jumbo. Yes, I think so. Yeah. I, I think that's a high value play here. Yeah, and he's got uh, the dodge out, hasn't he, to get in. So it's, it's pretty nice having that. Like the rookie, isn't it? He did, <laughs> he's got him available for the foul. I guess he's just going to assist foul though, which I don't think is good enough. Yeah, the thing is, overdog. Yeah, the team value gets added for the overdog. The problem is the underdog where it doesn't happen. Yes. So if you if you put 150k in, it does give the opponent more money and inducements. Uh, and then I'm, I think we might have seen a, a whiz on both sides. But 
if that's the case, I think it's of much more value to the High Elves. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, there isn't a blitz declared yet, and I do think the blitz on that uh, that guard chorf, even if you just push it, you're only you know it's a, just a guard chorf. You're not pushing yep. anything particularly. I think the only choice. I you. think you definitely gain one extra assist and quite possibly two. Yeah, I think you only is debating if you want to hit with mighty blow or wrestle to okay, make sure yeah. it goes down or not, or not. I think that's what probably he's thinking about, but. Rick, of course, doesn't have a lot of guard. He has two, and he's rented in a third one. Uh, and Lamarce does have a guard, Lamarce. So that's a piece he probably wants to keep reasonably safe. Manu, Manu, one die. Going for the one <laughs> yeah, I guess really? then you. That's a choice. Yeah, but the thing is, of course, then if you get pushes and two dies, then the guy assisting is just getting hit. Yeah. Yes, but but only by a guard chorf, which then stops that guard chorf being able to move yeah. around. Uh, Although, that guy either. now that the ball's on a bull, you know, don't necessarily... <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, he goes for the foul and gets his guy KO'd, trying to foul, not even a gym foul. Absolutely brutal. And in the midst of all that, thank you very much, Bleeding Hippie, staying fantastic for 36 months, three years. Also known as nine beaver pregnancies, so thank you very much. Absolutely it's glorious. Sometimes playing Blood Bowl is easy. Yeah, well, now he gets a jump up block, doesn't he, probably? Yep, they do say good things happen to nice people. Uh, Rick, famously, very, very nice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was going to say he might not follow here, but of course he does, because he wanted a bit of Oh, do we want to pile on? In case he wanted to pile on. Yep. Of course he needed us. <laughs> I'm sure that dwarf has out to follow up. Yeah. And this jump up could be, I mean, this could be devastating. I really think he should have got the wizard. But there you go, he didn't. I mean, because he has got everything he needs for this game, hasn't he, Rick? That's the thing. Yep. Like, he's, he's devastating. And pro. As his team is. <laughs> pro works. <laughs> Glorious. And to be fair, Rick might have a better shot against Gideoni than that the Masaray have. <laughs> yeah. One gun. Oops, there goes another round. And maybe he should have scum the babe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or He's three more there. bench. Um. <laughs> yeah, he could have just bought two more players and had 15. Like, I wouldn't have even hated that. You know? I wouldn't have hated just going to 15 players if I was him. No, then you can... He, uh, he had a lovely team. Rick was already getting a lot of inducements. I understand why he stood still on it. But what use is money if you lose? Um, I would have been looking hard at trying to spend a bit here. I think this is a tough game to get through, and particularly to get through alive. I'd have been looking to buy things that might make this, you know, a, a win where perhaps in the second half I didn't have to try very hard. Yeah. Yep, um, the spirit ball is still there, and you might need to I'd, try it. Like, yeah, I think that's that has to be done at some point. And then I'd have tried, you know, I don't worry about, I mean, I do worry a tiny bit, obviously, about your chalice equity or whatever, but... You've got to get there to worry about how you deal with that game. <laughs> that's, that's doesn't matter. One. If you lose, yeah, you're right. If you lose the game, there's no equity left. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. If he just goes for the uphill now and, and you know, hits him either directly, not any of the three squares you can hit him to, you know, it, it's got a chance for a decent scatter and a pickup and... He can get a lot of players around to the around both sides yeah i'd be wanting to push it sideways uh, the only thing i wouldn't want to do here is to leap in and uh, attack this ball from the rear because pushing it forwards looks terrible yes yeah you uh, might even uh, sacrifice the stroke ball coming from this spot in the middle in front and put mm -hmm. it straight back yeah mm -hmm. that is risky. i don't like i don't like i don't like the problem is pushing it to the Problem is pushing it over to where both AD plus is. It's yeah. Just, and but pushing the other way, you have you have rain less and bouncing is a you know doesn't give you the plus one that everything currently gets. No. Um, so it would still be catching on a, a four, and if the uh, if the strip but, ball is on his feet, that drops to a, a five. I'm more PC. I'm more afraid of it bouncing in behind all the jobs. Yeah, yeah, no, that that is the spot I wouldn't want to. I mean, I would if I could come in from the left as we're looking. I think I'll go. I will, I will go from the straight from the front, and just get players down back around. Oh, much harder space to get a leap into, though. No, it is not. You just no, move in and leap straight in. 
<laughs> it's probably the easiest it's one. Easiest one of all of them. Yeah. Well, the problem is, it, it, if he can stabilize, he can knock you into the corp on doing it that way, which is. Yeah, really it's, 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 you might lose your play on. I had forgotten that that, uh, that chorp on the right at the front is, of course, on its ass, having piled on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, there is a, a leap square, and having moved the loner as well, there are two leap squares to get e now loads of leap squares to get easily in there. I yeah. wonder if... Mm. No, he's just blocking them. Yeah, already. I know, he's just blocking them, but... Yeah. I'm not sure this is... Uh, now Rick gets to pick which, which good player he's going to hit. Yeah, no, this is just, a, like, basically and accepting a small on. death, isn't it? <laughs> Don't <laughs> jump up as well. Yeah, yeah. Yo, he's no, no, no. <laughs> Marking his pro jump up does not seem particularly smart. At least make him make some go for it. But obviously <laughs> being jump up, he, he doesn't have to. No, but he can't. And he also, but now, now at least have to choose. But I guess he going with the jump up, and then uh, Joker now is ready for next turn. Yeah. And also, I think the plan of, of waiting and thinking, oh, perhaps I can pull some of these guards out of position or get an easier shot. I, you're not going to, I don't think. No, no, it's never getting um, easier than that. Two and you're not. Yeah. You know, there's already only six elves on the field. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the yeah and. Which one if are you it wasn't going for? this half, it was surely that. You know, going... there were a couple of catchers that had a lot of movement range if the ball did come out. Yeah, I liked it. They were ways in. And go I in or lie down, one of the two. <laughs> but on the other hand... I say it, it won't get easier. I mean, Rick is perfectly capable of piling on and not removing twice in a turn, and then... Well, I haven't seen it. ...getting himself out of position that way, but... It... <laughs> I mean, you and I would be. I'm not sure Rick is capable of that. <laughs> yeah. He just gets the it removal, is. doesn't he? So. I think, ideally, you want to wait a couple of turns so there's less recovery possibilities for Rick. Yeah. If you okay. do it. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Ideally, but, but this is not an ideal situation, is it? No, that's... <laughs> but you're that's, not going to have the elves left caught. We're now No, no, fun. I was answering the question in chat. That's yeah, why right. friend, yeah. you kind of don't want... And it's a lot... Because if it doesn't work, you get... Threaded back into all the jobs. Yeah. Like I played it. It's not long. A couple of seasons ago, where I lost fifty percent of my star player points and my wood up team. <laughs> I turned four first half by doing leaping in and rolling bad and getting kills. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? High uh, risk, high reward. So I think you either do that or you just abandon the drive. I think at this point, yeah. I think like screening like this is just getting your good players smashed to pieces. Yeah, that it? that seemed like a weird non-decision. Yeah. Really go for it. Is. Normal chorps as well, I would suggest, you know, yeah, a late strip strip is fine, even without many elves on the pitch in the rain. Very hard for them to pick it up. But with those two AG4 ball carrier options, yeah, I just think getting it on the ground isn't as useful. Um, no, and it was, but it was a good time to get it on the ground with both catchers, all three catchers in range. Yeah. Um, and he's getting killed, yeah, but he could have decided to run out of di distance for those two uh, bombers if he wanted to. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm seeing a, a, a gentleman caught between two plans here. I think the original plan of, um, you know, try and wall up, arrest the drive, try and pull the cage apart and then leap in doesn't work. And he needed to abandon it earlier when he started losing elves at this rate. Yeah. Um, and I think you need to remake the plan as run the hell away and keep some elves alive for the next half. Yeah. And, and I don't think he's really done that either. So you, no. when you lose that many elves early, you've either got to go, right, I don't want to do it now, but I've got to go now. Or you've got to decide I need to, to abandon this drive entirely. And that's decide. coming now. Okay, now we're abandoning the drive. Well, a little late, but... Better late yeah. than never. Mm -hmm. And he gets two ghosts of the chaos before it says drives. So. Yeah, absolutely sick. I mean, that's why abandoning the drive looks good to me. Is because there's, a, you know, he's got 13 elves. There's only one gone permanently, and with two rolls on those KOs, even with five KOs, he's got a reasonable chance. Of, let's be conservative and say three back. Well, that still only leaves him 10 elves for the second half, which should be plenty. No, it's uh, Rick has a babe. Yeah, no, Rick's yeah, Rick has the babe. Yeah, but I mean, I'm talking just with two KO rolls on the the five yeah. elves. I mean, that should still see three come back. Yeah, but should I do. Slightly more than three, so I'm being conservative with three. Yeah. It should. Doesn't mean it will, of course. Blood Bowl being variance driven. But yeah, he's got a good chance of having 11 in for the second half. Yeah, definitely, and it's fine. And then you 
if you can get one, then you can go for the one one of score like turn five or six and uh, a rig to having a hurry up offense, risking uh, what that is. Yeah. Is there any value here in not scoring? So he only gets one. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. no space cadet. <laughs> Go. And to be fair, that, like, um, if he gets a good KO ro roll, it's one turn. Thanks for the assist there, help me. I've forgotten that joyful uh, <laughs> joyful discussion. And again, a good uh, KO roll and uh, one turn is not out of the question either. <laughs> no, it's not out of the question. Um, still, rain. That There's could change easily. Control. That's the most likely result of the kick off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he should have been Kales. He, he really should have been expecting to have four players left by turn four. <laughs> this is Rick. <laughs> this, this, this is just Rick. This is what happened. This is what's happened for him pretty much every game, hasn't it? He? he has annihilated yes. teams. There's just no point in thinking, what if I had these dice? Because you won't get them. <laughs> it's mainly the funny part that in all his games, he's still ending up in problems later. Oh, there goes another. <laughs> oh god, seven kills. That's not, this is not normal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the problem, core is, is it is. We've watched his prior games, me and Jim. This, this is not. Yeah, but I've seen, I've seen him as well. Yeah, um, what I've also great. say, he also managed to get it out, of, get into troubles, even if he was killing other teams. Oh yes, no, yeah, that that yeah. That's, that's been a regular feature too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three men um, on the field on turn four. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Rick, Rick, still bothering with a sort of rudimentary screen, just just because he can, really. Uh. Oh my god! A legal concede would be funny, wouldn't it? That would be funny if he was just like, "Oh fuck this!" If anyone will do it, it'll be Lamar Slayer. He's very salty, according to all reports. I don't think I've ever played him. Uh, there was some discussion in one Discord, or I think it was actually in a Twitch stream, about uh, about Rick actually keeping the chat on and dropping the occasional, ooh, this is going well, isn't it? <laughs> um, but, I'm, you know, he's too nice a guy to be deliberately winding an opponent up, surely. Yeah. Oh, well, I have mm. to Surely he would have complained. <laughs> Yeah, Rick is sadly too nice to do that, yeah. Boring Rick. <laughs> but yeah, two chances at the KO, yeah. So, you know, he's got a good chance of getting at least ten, right? You'd expect five of these to come back very reasonably. Very reasonably five of these to come back and have to. <coughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is... I'm not expecting to see that, Jimmy. Um, I'll be honest. <laughs> no, if he's lucky, one might come back. <laughs> That's a reasonable expectation, but I'm, I'm not expecting that to happen. <laughs> Rick can uh, skill up a uh, rookie chop now. I think he's going to as well. Look, he's moved him in. He's totally going to do the handoff. Oh, Rick. Rick, Rick, Rick. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, I'm not a big fan of, of that sort of thing, but when you've got four turns to do it in and two AG4s to pick it up if it's all going wrong. Yeah, he's got and three re-rolls for it. All your re-rolls as well. Yeah. It's fine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and he's got he's, so he's got the he's got the one in nine if on the last turn if it all goes wrong. And he's got like three fifty five percent before that, so it's it's really I'd... really likely, isn't it? Yeah, because it's chalice and look he's putting the AG fours either side because he's not that crazy. Um, yeah. Personally, I would try it turns five. <laughs> I'd be one in nining on seven and eight if needs be. Yeah. But of course, there's no need. Just, just casual five plus in the rain. <laughs> oh, Only could feasibly score it now. No, yes. You know. No, I get won't one before half time. Why not? Until I'm victorious. <laughs> They're having and a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I will defend. Snappy time for the, for high Where ups. is the other team? <laughs> Thank you very much, Thrike, for staying fantastic. Yeah. The other team, mostly KO'd, seven KO's and a Cavs. 
You should think they don't like the rain and won't just want to get out of it. Like push shelves. <laughs> don't get yes. one to get muddy, just running out and hiding. <laughs> yes, it, it'll get their, their lovely shiny armor muddy. Mm. Normally, of course, no. it's usually the, the low agility team that doesn't like the rain, but uh, that's been completely <laughs> irrelevant for Rick so far. <laughs> <laughs> Caught the kick on a six. Caught the hand off on a five. Incredible. Incredible red uh, dice so far. <laughs> I've, I've always wondered, Jimmy, why people complain about Blood Bowl being difficult. I mean, watch this. It just isn't, is it? Look at this game. It's, it's <laughs> easy. Yeah. Easy game. Just roll easy a 8 game. plus and everything. And 5 and 6. Oh, bless him. Le Marcelle is, is pretending to threaten the ball area. <laughs> no, no. I think he's just getting away from the claw bombers, isn't he? I think that's all. Yeah, is. I think so. <laughs> it's a uh, counting where can you stand where claw bomb cannot hit. Yeah. Because, of course, you know, Rick, with the, oh. the ball exactly where he wants it now, and three re-rolls in hand, can... Oh, uh, and now guard is getting fouled. Can do the go yeah. for it. Oof, this could be... this could be painful. Oof. You so, can even uh, protect just, the ball, can't you, with so, so, Rick can hand off in the rain, but uh, the elves cannot do a similar go for it. Seems <laughs> fair. He's failed almost every two plus he's made as well, hasn't he? Like he's used yeah. two re-rolls on them. And he's no, he, he really has. <laughs> oh, dude. Absolute dicing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <don't Thank> know. <laughs> the spare dirty player providing the assist there. Um, that's not a screen. There's a big hole in the middle. But I'll imagine uh, the guard pieces the coming on running away, aren't they? They're not running towards the ball. Yeah, he's gonna, he's, yeah, he's, and he's gonna, he's just gonna cast the guy as well. To be fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just a kill. One elf left after this, isn't it? <laughs> oh, are we going for the, the really good player? That gives an assist on the foul as well. Yeah, I don't even hate that now. I think that is what Rig is doing, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd have done it the other way. I'd have had the guard. Oh! <laughs> but he's fine. Instant wow. greed re-roll. <laughs> yeah. So I'd have had the assist where the blitz came from, and then the blitz where the assist came from, which, if it worked, would have given me uh, plus three on the foul. Yes, that would have been far better, wouldn't it? Although mine would then have resulted in my dirty player being sent off and the elf being fine. <laughs> <laughs> so do it Rick's way. <laughs> yeah, what a dicing. Who a Rick. <laughs> nice, got block, so he can, he can get through. He's a blitzer. And he's going to get two elves down to vaguely pretend to threaten the ball. <laughs> Well, one of them is actually the um, the wrestle strip that we talked about before. Yeah, it mm. might work. That could. And now with it on a strength three, Rick's got to genuinely be moderately concerned about that ever so slightly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Rose is laughs> <drawing> another one. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. And now, in classic Rick, because he didn't foul, his dirty yep. player is in range to foul the better player. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. What was and this they game? threat towards the AG3 ball carrier with no real guards or defense up there because everything came running at the elves is now fine. He gets to clop on this one as well. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh... This game. Just... Oh, no. And I was Some feeling annoyed play. yesterday yeah. by my game. I cannot stand if there was it. If this, he's, is, uh... this has put my Norsing into perspective here. This is. Yeah. Uh, I was feeling I had a bit, bit of a rough one, but I would still prefer that or this. <laughs> oh, mine was horrific, but this is just comedy mega ultra dicing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although, but again, let's not because of the fact that there's yeah. only one dead elf. Yeah, it's yeah, only for it, the drive. Yeah, yeah, it's only a dicing for the drive, thus far. Yeah, but we, those KOs are now huge um, because there needs to be enough elves to get a reasonably dominant. Uh, score done oh, in the second two. half. Nope. That's how I'm doing things. No, oh, no, okay, two gone. 
and enough elves left to take him into overtime with some hope. Does he have but, to up yeah. all that? He doesn't. I would. Oof. It was a horrible one, wasn't it? Because it was just a mismatch. It was like the worst yeah. one on the but I feel like you, you kind of had to. Oh, but this foul's coming though, isn't it, as well? Oh, yeah, yes. you can. yeah, he's I kept know. it for this piece on the foul, I think. Yuck. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> the problem with the missing is that's the rest of the game against Drick and the entire game against Gdanik. But it's down for the final. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be worried about that. Woo! <laughs> I mean, I don't think actually, but... I don't think you can compare to what he has the players. A blood side step is yeah, it's not, not going to win him the game against Gideoni either. Rick somehow managing a score there. Well done. Well done, Rick. He found well the done. route through. Yeah, that was real good play, wasn't it? It was. Scored on a non-blue oh, head. Four, four back, four back. Okay, so. Seven, eight. Brilliant. He just now needs... All three yeah. others, and he'll have a team. Yeah. To be fair, he doesn't need 11 to score on no, that big team. Else. But I'd still want at least one and two would be lovely. Two will be great, one will be... Yeah. Yeah, nine. Nine's okay, ten. Yeah, depending ten's on what Rick does, eight is enough to do a one turn. With sides, sidestep, he's still got a sidestep. Uh, what Rick put on the line is going to be interesting here, isn't it? Because it is it is going to be CDBs, okay. He's had a lot of Chorfs die. Um, the loner one he obviously won't care about, but it is one of his few guard pieces. The rookie he's just scored on, he, he really won't care about that at all. But again, can't, just can't afford to lose Chaos Dwarf blockers before the next round, surely. And he and Mathe got that one guard piece that means he can... Uh... He can go for the side, going down the side. So, can so cool, you're the, you're the, the expert this, this is uh, the standard NAF one-turn defense, I believe. Yeah. Um, are you happy with it? Um, the problem... It's, the thing is, he can go down where there's no tackle. What he does is, you put the sidestep away, put the sidestep of the guard where the mighty blow is, you can blitz up back into the guard. And if you put one in this square two for the right, then that will end up being a block that way down later to get a push more into the dirty player, potentially, if you can afford that player. If you put one to the... Yeah, yeah, I get, I get One it. to the left of the... Then that, that gives the angle for a block later. But with eight, it's not sure you can afford looking that far ahead. Yeah. Um, and you can go down the route where there's no tackle, so they're, like, that's... I understand why he's hiding his claw pomo, but it'll make more sense for to have it on where the dirty player is. For a defensive look. Yeah. Um... He could also... Sorry, n not yet, Throik, not yet. Um, I've got a batch to do. I've got about five five guys I'm going to make, um, and I just haven't made them yet. I, was, I wanted to do them so they'd all debut after Mania, but then I just didn't get them done in time. So. <laughs> Sometime I'll make them. I might have a possible tag team partner in the offing, then. Yeah, I was thinking that, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think if I really wanted to keep the claw pommer safe, I That's... might have... Put the two yeah. plus agility hobgoblins on the right hand back edges of this. Yeah. And then the two chorps I wanted safe um, in the positions oh, they're in right at the moment. Nah, you need to. It's that... still them ways. No, I, I think then, it, because of the stand firm, I think then you'd have to at least once face tackle, wouldn't you? Yeah, but you need to move one of them over to the side. Because right, as long as there's a clear line where there's hobgoblins, you'll need to. He will have those two tackle over on, uh, on the left side where he will naturally go. And I don't know what he's doing because the one you blitz with, you can put it in the back somewhere. But he's clearly abandoned it. Ooh, and get a better weather. Gets a touch back as well. Ooh, la la. Yeah, he couldn't have asked for more than that on the kickoff, except he, And now he could have probably afforded uh, putting in uh, Elf 
told him to put one. <laughs> Ooh la la! Let's see. He needs some pushes. Let's Doesn't get it. Blow. Noob mistake. But uh, he gets the double pal, so it works out. <laughs> fucking hell! Uh, now he's getting all the hot dies. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure. Can he get, can he get the things? Oh, he's not gonna even try no, running out can, of the players. Uh, to him, did he? Um. He yeah, might have been able to yeah. act. He could have pulled on those two square, but it's just at the cost of it. I'm not sure it's worth it. Yeah. With the reroll gone. Yeah. So, Briggs get away with one. Slightly. Yep. And there's the link for uh, Kit. Big Kevs. And <laughs> the series on one turn. There you go, there's the playlist. If you haven't watched that, um, I recommend it. Oh, he gets two back, so he's on ten men for the second half. Le Marcelé, ha ha ha, oui oui oui. Decent position considering his first half. Yeah. Now we just need to spend spend a lot of time without dying. <laughs> yep. Um, I don't... I, I think we can do some withdrawing of our offence here. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Not much he can send after us. Daka, daka, daka. Yeah, this is a, definitely a situation where um, asking Rick to come for the ball, especially with Rick only having one bull, that forces Rick to put that ball central at all times, more or less. Daka, daka, daka. Um. Interestingly, I mean, this is a, a time I would use the rule of five, not because I'm trying to protect my pieces, but actually to try and invite the high elves quickly down one flank or the other. Oh, well. mm. um, where either and I can try and force them to score reasonably quickly, or there's a chance that I can sort of get on top of them because they're trying to advance into the space I've given up. Yeah. It's always a good idea to get on top of elves whenever you can. Weeds. Doesn't look like Lamarce is being uh, sucked into that though. He doesn't appear to be setting up like he's going to go quickly down one flank. But he is setting up to hit the line of scrimmage, isn't he? Yeah, so he's, he's not, not just he's not going full away. He's not going no. full attacker. Yeah, he's uh... C'est un super match jusque là. Le rythme s'est un peu ralenti, mais ça va reprendre de plus belle d'une seconde. Oh, I don't like this. I think full attacker was the way. Oh, yeah, but if it's if it's been me, I've been uh, yeah putting the guard in the middle, blitzing with mighty blow and running away. Yeah, versus fucking Rick, I <laughs> just run the fuck away. <laughs> he gets an extra reroll as well. Every time um, he hits, he kills. <laughs> of course, that's a that's a reroll for overtime. His equity increased there. Yeah, a lovely bit of equity. <laughs> I mean, I get why he's doing it. As, as High Elves, it's usually not a bad strategy. You do have some reasonable armor in AV8 that can often stand up to a little bit of the brawling. And if he does chip a, a chorf here, uh, particularly one of the guard ones, that's that's a really big swing in his favor. The momentum would be changing. Um, I just I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, he's getting the mighty bow hit here, isn't he, on the uh, jump up. Uh, this would be a, a seismic equity shift if he's able to remove this character. No, Rick has a babe. Yeah, Rick Whoa. went for um, oof. Rick what an earth scattering. <laughs> yeah. Rick went for a guard, a guard Merc Chorf for 150k rather than a wizard, yeah. which, which I think is fine. Yeah, I think that's a good option. 16 turns of a Chorf is probably better than one turn of a wizard for him, isn't it? In this match. It's certainly against elves. I think, yeah, with his shortage of guard being quite chronic, I think it was uh, a really good decision. Yeah. I mean, the option was there not to hire a second, the rookie chorf that he did, and actually to to rent in two mercs with guard. Yeah. Uh, but of course, then that doesn't leave you, you know, a chorf for the next game, which leaves you with the same problem if you get through. Yeah. In this way, he has managed to get a touchdown on that rookie chorf. 
which if he can win and get another one on him in the next game or in this then he can he can go up to the semi-final with a with a skilled up chop couldn't he so oh absolutely i think if there's any chance at all i think rick would rather win one nil or two nil with that chop scoring yeah um, i think he'd be quite happy to fail it four times running if that was <laughs> you know, if the one nil was to cure because the only piece that really matters for him to try and skill is that chop he yeah. really does need another guard. <laughs> Although, does he? Because, you know, if you just bang things out, you don't need to guard other stuff. Yeah, you don't need guard when your opponent's got three players left on turn four. <laughs> very, very difficult for them to do things with that for you. <laughs> he literally had three players on turn four. Oh, oh not a removal. And, and it's not pro? No, he's no, he goes to the horn, the horny man, not the, uh... Probably the Jokonard powder was there, they, they made, made a reason for that. Yeah, he's got jugs, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah, so yeah. The blocker naught, he could, if he'd rolled the board down, he could have got the knockdown. Um, but yeah, the, the thing with this is, now that he's got the Kekwadi to consider, hasn't he, in overtime and everything, he can't re-roll. Like, if that had been the first half, I'm sure he'd agreed with that, just instantly. But he can't really greet it now, can he? Well, I mean, Rick does usually have... I mean, we've joked about it, but Rick usually does have a game plan where the, the strategy does slightly alter from team destruction to positional play as the game develops, of course. Yes. Um, but yeah, and I think you're absolutely right. I think in the first half, that would be a, you know, prioritising the hit, prioritising the pylon. And here, obviously, there's you know that priority list has changed. Let's make it to have, like, he can block those two chops to the left down and, oh, or to the, let me, uh, you behind, to the right and uh, and the dirty player hobgoblin and make some nice space over there. Yeah, he could, yeah, that looks like... That At looks least it's worth, pro it's worth going for, I think. Yeah. You get the wrestle hit first to see how it all folds out. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Get you away from both claw powers as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and if you've decided to play this game, that's definitely a. Uh... Yeah. I mean, as long as the bull is in the central area, you can't escape it. But the claw powers, you can. Yeah, and you don't really like. It's too early to escape it anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, although you know, it is a nice piece with its tackle, very, very anti elf Big tackle. Yeah, I don't know if you can see if you zoom in on it. Let's have a look. Cyanide not quite going for that level of detail. <laughs> Tackle not muddled onto that bull centaur. <laughs> oh, he gets the wrestle. Yeah, that's a bit awkward though, because now the, the hit on the other one is a one dies. Well, he could blitz, the, um, blitz the hobble first, can't he? Yeah. Oh, t yeah, you can. Uh, but with what? Would you wrestle blitz, so then you can get the wrestle blitz to save? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To go for it. Go for it. It's not been kind, but no, no. Not I don't right understand. Now. Why are we no. not hitting with mighty blow? I've heard that's what you should do. Yes. Maybe because he okay. put the mighty blow slightly in a bad spot. Yeah, it's in a terrible position. That's why. <laughs> um. So he's recovered it into a nice position now, where it should have available targets. Okay. I don't. Hit. Yeah. Okay. So take guard around the corner and then blitz us. I don't think it's a little bit awkward having to blitz with the rest of the game. Yeah. But he gets the pow. Le Are we not? No, we're taking the one dice. We don't want to risk getting stuck again. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get smashed by a claw pummer. Because <laughs> he's defenseless, isn't he, to the claw pummer? That's the problem. Yep. The so now he runs out of combo. Just runs away, no. yeah. Yep. Don't hate it. No. no, that's okay. And he has at least, I mean, whilst not taking the space over the halfway line that was available, he has at least sort of made it his with those elves. Yeah. Um, which means Rick's got to worry about, okay, if I don't deal with that threat, then, you know, the ball can move deep into <coughs> the half. Um, not that Le Marseille Soleil really wants it to. This mm, I don't... Uh, oh, no. Why did you GFI? Has he not paid attention to the dice he's been rolling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and why did he stop there in first, like... In what world does he make a coup plus? I... 
and it's not like Ricky is not going to hit that catcher anyway. Just put that lineman two squares away from everybody somewhere or on the opposite side, so he needs to pay attention. Yeah. Just leave it like two squares under the ball. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I quite like pieces that are just sort of awkward. You know, they don't have to be doing something active if they're awkward. Yeah. And, <coughs> yeah, and as, as Cool said, I mean, if it had been before they go for it, or you know, slightly curving the round, the run right back round towards the ball, it's on that diagonal line for dropping back ahead of this supposed elf advance. Oh, and also, or being a possibility to just switch over to the other side if you haven't. Um, yeah, exactly. Or exactly. Leave it, leave it free on that side. It, it likely will get claw pond, but that takes one out for you know half the drive. Yeah, could have been. A, he could have just been a decoy octopus, couldn't he? That's what half your aisles are for. Oh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, hello, Flicky. If any just got here, I will summate the first half for you. Um, oh, Rick what? banged all the elves. Oh, stop! Wait. The elf is still here. Wow! Wow! This bug. Yeah, this that's a bug. I thought my screen had frozen. Is that? That's real. <laughs> bless, my, bless my soul. Um, so, and when I say banged all the elves out, uh, I think was it by turn three, Jimmy, that they had three elves four? left. Yeah, four, yeah, I think, four or four, five. Yeah, but... turn four, they had three elves on the field. <laughs> so, luckily, all of them were KOs apart from one, which was killed. And then, uh, of the three that were left, one of those has also been missed next game. But and almost all of the elves have returned on the two rolls that he had, so now we're facing a second half that is, should be competitive. Yeah. And it's not like the breath is caring about Rick Fowling either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, but no, he's, Jim Fowl would be equal points, wouldn't it? He's got two dirty players and he plans to use them. Yep. They ain't for show. Are you... Are you advancing or are you running, are you running to the other side now? Yeah, I'd be running to the other side. The problem with advancing here is that it, it, you're pretty much... You're scoring. That you don't mind scoring in, say, 12 or 13, because it's going to be really mind. hard to advance and, and store. But it, I don't completely... I must admit, with four rebuilds, I don't even... I don't pati almost not hate getting Rick a couple of turns to hang himself uh, <laughs> because advancing and protecting you that wrestle. Yeah, no, but re that wrestle strip ball. The thing is, Rick, Rick want to advance fast and protect the ball for wrestle strip ball is going to be a problem. Yeah, I don't hate pushing forward here because I don't. I don't hate it. You just ask what I would do, um, mm -hmm. and I'd be looking for overtime winning. Yeah, me but, too. But, <laughs> Um, he's just been playing. He's been setting up a bit more aggressive. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. But certainly, the push up this right-hand side is there, and it can certainly be protected this turn. It just almost certainly means you're going in on twelve, maybe mm, thirteen. You might be able depend. to stall out for thirteen. Uh, you might. It depends. That's not. It depends a lot what Rick does because yeah. he needs yeah. to be really careful. You just run around the front to the back to the middle and or to the other side. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of chaff, you leaving all the chaff behind on the wrong side of you. But with um, that, that foul on that central elf, he has got the pieces to close down the centre of the field from yeah, that side. Well, Whether Rick would do it or not, it's a different question. We, we're back to why the hell the elf was running that way and going for it. Yeah. 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 I, I, mean, I think I, with 85... I think either, either create an option on the other side, make Rick worry about that side of the field a bit, or yeah, bend the run to get on those diagonals that would have prevented them being in this midfield position they're in without using their blitz. Dropping back a bit. Uh, the <coughs> dropping back looks nice because this guy hasn't got a jump up, has he? So you can, no. you can be completely safe of getting clop on this turn. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that you can do a bit of a withdrawn offence. Uh, a a brief if, if, if he wanted to go for it, Keith, because you have that uh, 85, he could have handed off to that one. And then Rick cannot really pinch it in with 85 bloods jump up. Yeah. I mean, clearly, <coughs> yes, that, that was possible. Um, but I mean, you've got that whole four spaces of the side area to use without basing yourself. So you could always make sure that you had the dodge out to the very edge and run along for the score. Yeah. Um, although the bull, of course, could get round right in front of it. There's there's things one can do about a single piece like that. 
Uh, and he did have lots of elves that could have come, but of course, when I'm saying that, I'm thinking about elves that are capable of making two plus dodges. <laughs> um, and he probably realizes that just isn't happening this game. No, and it's going, it's too early anyway. I, I would prefer risking it for, for overtime anyway as well, like you guys, Yeah, personally. Yeah, I, th I think uh, the play was to Daka, right? Um, I, think, I think that was pretty good. But once he started like this, I wouldn't have hated him pushing up further. But I, I still like this more. Yeah. I mean, I, I like the position he's in right now. I, I mean, I, I think there are teams that can successfully wrap the Woodies with their exceptional pace. But I quite like the sort of the half dacker, um, yeah. because yeah. you're hoping to outmaneuver them. I don't really want to push forwards on turn six, seven, and eight. I mean, I will if I have to, but I'd much rather outmaneuver them on turns three and four of a drive, and then just have to stall up at the far end for a couple of turns. That's much easier to me. I'd much rather a step over touchdown than an eight mm. pace touchdown on my final turn. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, so here, if the yeah. dwarves come at him in the slightly the wrong order, they'll be they'll be space up one side or the other, um, and I would then be looking to take it, uh, probably at this time in a drive. But perhaps that push up the right was a turn or two too early. Yeah, and I think Skuro has got a point. Then we maybe did a little bit too much blocking after deciding to withdraw three pieces. Because now there are ways that these this elf team can be cut in half. That's a lot less worrying for elves than for other less uh, agility for I solve everything with a three plus based teams, but it's still an issue. Ooh. That's a lot forward for that bull. Yeah, that's a danger for Rick. This is looking almost over committee right now, isn't it? He's not because right now he's not cutting off the team, he's actually leaving him a corridor back to yeah. the right. Yeah. And if if that hit with that guard piece is not a knockdown, then the problems multiply. Yep. But of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> After that dude ro rolled a one in nine the other way. Yeah. Okay, but still. He's still on the field. Here comes the claw. Oh, he fails oh. a GFI. Does he reroll? No. No. What? Uh, okay, now I'm going back up that yeah. right side. Yes. Yep. Now it looks glorious going up this right hand side, doesn't it? It absolutely does. I've, I've got three elves available. I've got my guard that I can use in, in various ways. Uh, even if I just stand it up, it's doing some good work. Um, that's a lovely screen. He's going to struggle to get back. The bull won't, but the chorfs will. Um, I, I even thought that the second claw pom piece slightly overcommitted forwards there. I wouldn't have hated leaving it back central on that downed elf. Yeah, and he was going to do um, this foul afterwards, wasn't he? So now this elf is has a two plus out at the end of the turn. Yeah, absolutely. So that one's in a in an awful position for Rick as well. And if he'd left the chorf there uh, as an extra assist on it, um, with a, a fowler and maybe even that third hobgob, then you don't have to hit with the claw pom. You can free it up if you want to use it elsewhere if the elves do come up a flank. So I think there were just a couple of positional, um, not great ideas there. However, it'll probably all work out. Yeah. It's the Russell. Does he just wrestle Blitz here with this, this character? He could, couldn't he? This, uh, this dude could just come around and Blitz, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then you get a hit. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. It, it makes the guard more active, means you can have a little hit on the hobgob, which won't work, but it's it's nice to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's a blodge piece, not just that it's Rick, it's that it's blodge. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's only about a one in three of knocking it down, isn't it? Yeah. 30%. Yeah, so not even one in three. Mm. <laughs> Frame me, oh dear. Yeah, I don't know whose microwave it is. Not mine. It was mine. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it was our mic microwave. So now he's not getting that far with the ball, is he? Yeah, he's going to have to GFI, I think, and then watch out for the ball a little but it's bit. Just, but it's just one GFI, and then he's standing. 
one tier five with him, one tier five with the mighty blow. Yeah. But that's bad. Of course, that's bad enough. And you also have a naked block you really want to do. <laughs> yeah, I think you probably do the tier five first, and then see where, yeah. see where your ass hangs after that. <laughs> Um, you could take the rest, uh, it blitz her down first. So you... Yeah, I wouldn't. I, with that bull there and a couple of shots to assist it, I, I want that bull gone as soon as possible. Yeah, I will take the rest of down first, because it can stand, it can catch the scatter. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. But I mean, that diagonally is open. Oh, we can also, okay, we can take the dodge down short, so that's better. Yeah, that was it's good, lovely. But, yeah. but I still think the rest of the dude could have been down there anyway, because he's going down there anyway. Yeah, then he's not blocking the path or anything, is he? So yeah, that would have been... Oh, he's done the GFI anyway. Uh, worse, it? <laughs> now it's worse. Yeah, then it's the definitely dodge. worse. That was the square you could have got to without... Oh no, it is one ahead, isn't it? No, so it's like one ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But I've, I've done two go fronts. Uh, you could have done... No, one is uh, saving a same to reroll. But that wrestle piece couldn't have been there anyway. Yes, but the foul state on that... The fail state on that's awful for if he won in 36 is that dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is why I, like you, might have done the two go for it, and then if I use the reroll on the first, I don't do the second. I'm not sure I even but he could did save himself a, did save himself a GFI with the He could have just done one, though. He could have just, like, this gets him in scoring range, I guess, but he could have yeah. just done one yeah. GFI and been a square further back. Like, you know, if that, the that was my original plan, but I, I slightly prefer the square he's got to. Uh, I don't hate the way he went to it, but like I said, the fail state on it was a tiny bit worrying. Mm. But you know, some... this is for all the marbles. You, you've got to oh, go for five, it. You've got to make the bold plans, the, the big plays. Uh, did we need to do that that way around? I'm not sure. Did he really need to? There's no tackle anyway. Did we need to go the 3 plus 2 plus route? No, I didn't like that. I like taking the 2 plus out. And then just get him up, isn't it? Get him up and active is it's just there's a lot of value in that, isn't there? Result. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he wanted to. I think he wanted to be in the square one, one and like opposite um, the bull now, two squares yes. in front of his uh, blood gas. Yes. Yeah. I, and I know why. That's a nice place for him to be, but it, it it's just not that necessary. With dodge, and maybe. I, I like to pass out. I think wow. just get that piece back on the board, back causing problems, worrying Rick. Yeah, him not having dodge. Like, if he has dodge, it seems more sensible. Yeah. yeah, I'd think about it with dodge. To be fair, if I had dodge, I'd think about going for it. And if you pop dodge, stop moving, and, and you know, stuff like that, isn't it? Because then you're using the dodge to get ahead and, and, yeah. and maybe get somewhere better. But without dodge, I think you just hit the two plus and get him up and out and, and have him active next turn. Because you might need him because this, is, this can get dodgy, can't it? Yeah. Yeah, both both the wrestle hits being wrestle hits was not particularly nice though. Yeah. For exactly. the olds. Yeah. I've yeah, said it before, wrestle a fantastic defensive skill, just not so brilliant aggressively. And he got a lot. What does it? There's not a but lot. Like, Rick, Rick hasn't got right, right far down, has he? And with going for this foul here, he's left <laughs> room in behind. Of course he has, because again, we need to get this team all completely killed. Yeah. Now the the dice certainly have let Rick down a little bit this half. We haven't seen uh, as many removals. I mean, some, but not as many. Yeah. That foul failing. The uh, there's at least one piling on that I remember now not killing an L. Yeah. yeah, now that's a wrestle, wrestle hit to free up, uh, free up that elf. Yeah, the go for it into stun. I mean, there's just been a few little bits that, you and know. you can get a, and you can get a, a dude down the back into the middle around as well for next turn. Yeah, there's a few things you can do with this turn, isn't there? Yeah, I like just taking the hit and the tackle to free up the one block player, touch player does in the tackle. Me too, um, and then you've got at least. I'd say three elves that can come with you. Um, and I yeah. wouldn't be feeling the need to score this turn. I think I could probably stall it out till next. Yep. Oh, shit. Yep. Extremely. Is yeah, not extremely, but he's, <laughs> he's definitely had not as good That's a look. It's evened out a bit. Yeah, it's evened out a bit, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, look, I'm going to agree with, uh, just because we should always have differences of opinion, shouldn't we? That's what good commentators do. Uh, I'm going to do the Roy Keane. No, that's shit. Um, no, I, I agree with Ayeti a little bit. Um, I think we're remembering the first half of Rick's dice. This half, there's been a whole world of fail for Rick. He's still made you know, like two I kills, said, the, though, hasn't he? Yes, he has, but the claw pom didn't work. The go for it into a self-stun. Yeah, but you didn't put in the, the foul getting sent. Foul getting sent off. Yeah. I mean, I, I expect every single foul I ever do to get sent off. So. Yeah. yeah, it's a bonus if you stay in, right? Yeah. I, I perhaps wouldn't go as far as exceptionally. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, no, yeah, he's extremely. Been, yeah, I think but I might say unlucky, yeah. very unlucky. I might even go as hard, hard as, as very. <sighs> but I it's think not extremely like... extremely a notch above that I, I wouldn't be buying. I was about to say, but it's not like... A... <laughs> And it's not like a, the other dice has been red hard. He keeps. Yeah. Oh no! I mean, I'm, I'm not mentioning Le Marseille's at all, which still haven't been that good. Mm. Oh, he got a yellow thing. He hasn't I... had. He hasn't had Dimmy most dice man in Blood Bowl level of uh, bad dice. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's, good right, it's a nice screen. Now mm -hmm. it's only the bull and the plus agility tackle. I guess, the, I guess you blitz the dirty player with the ball carrier, makes a nice route for the line, yeah, linemen to get out as well. Great plan call, and if Blood Bowl had two blitzes per turn, that would be... Oh, he blitzed on the first one. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, I thought he just blocked. <laughs> and you know, if you had to do anything other than just one turn, you might know things like that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but why did we... Savage! Oh. What a savage. Yeah, I don't think you should have blitzed there. I think you should have blitzed with the ball carrier, as you say. Get, get rid of both of those hobbles. I, think. I hate well, ball carrier know. blitzes, but I, I would. I think that he, was the right play, too. He got block as well. There was an awful rest of that he hit. Mm. Oh, it wasn't the block, dude, though. But still. Yeah, um, yeah but. Oh, why did you have a GFI? Why are you oh, there? You're in a good spot. You didn't need a GFI. Full on punished as well. He finally gets to Apple badly hurt. I guess it makes. I think he's fearing the bull break tackle in. Yeah, yeah. well, now the bull's gonna break tackle in. Um, yeah, if you've been staying there, then the bull hits the wrestle and just tacks out. But that's yeah, I, what it I is. Thought, I didn't hate the dodge, but I did hate the go for it. Yeah, I think just to have him there stood up is good, isn't it? You know, yep. you, like, okay, he's better here, but just have him there and then get someone else out. You know, and then if you... Yes, sure, Subguy113, I agree. Without the go for it, it would have been two dodges on the bull. Now, Rick's quite capable of deciding to do that. Um, we've seen it before. Because, of course, it is the dodge bull as well as a break tackle bull. So, you know... Oh, yeah, Rick's going in here 100%. I guess the good part is the mighty blow is not getting uh, served. Yeah, but now <laughs> yeah. he's... Yeah, now he's definitely coming for a two-die on this uh, bull carry. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically the way he's organised this turn so far. I think he's going to have to use his plus agility hobgob in that neck of the woods too. Oh no, of course the jump up can cancel. Of course it can. Yeah. And uh... still has the uh, the plus agility to collect if anything uh, sexy happens with the ball. <laughs> and in Blood Bowl three, of course, Lamarcelle could have uh, rerolled that, couldn't he? And it, yeah. it's going to be very interesting being able to do that. Brilliant. It's going to change a lot of things. It's one of the fundamental changes that's happened. Uh, there's a lot of small mm. things. That's a big thing. Yeah, very. A lot of people thinking that's going to actually be very difficult for newer players. Well, it, it, it lets you make more decisions, doesn't it? Which naturally helps better players because they're better at making decisions and they make more right decisions, don't they? So, I think it's definitely going to help more experienced players win more. Yeah, more and the less, less experienced stuff. players will, you know, will use all the rerolls turn one, and make some lovely things happen for an eighth of one drive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes the touch. Oh, and it's still touch. Follows up. Can do more stuff. Does he follow? Why didn't, on, we, why didn't we follow? Why didn't we follow? We we have a we movement. The ball was going there, and we just wanted it nice and safely in our base without us being on the edge. <laughs> but we have a movement more. Yeah, don't have to follow. use it, Cole. That's not a rule. <laughs> yeah, he should have followed, shouldn't he? There was no reason. He should have followed, yeah. Then he'd have caught it. It 
it's just I mean not not because not he would have caught it you know like you know just for in, no. in case of people are um, Cole, you know, Cole's like, right I am joking of course he should have followed because if he wanted to be in that square he could just have stepped back into it exactly, with his extra yeah. pace of movement but if he but killed it, that it gave him stepper. other options as to where he could have been yeah. yes and for example if you kill the sidestepper you might want to be in the square where yeah. he's laying yep because lots of other bounces wouldn't have put it in the bull's tackle zone, whereas um, being able to step forwards would. And of course, not only did it have that extra pace of movement, but being a bull centaur, it has three go for it and sure feet if it wants it. Yeah, yeah but I even don't... if that elf didn't die, and if it bounced, for example, behind the other elf, you know, I wouldn't have hated a step north and then a one single go for but... it in. That would have been okay. But is that a problem, do you? Because the ball there, if you don't do anything or don't get it, then there's a really risk that 85 just scores. Yeah. Well, if the ball bounces out, then there's a good chance either it's out of range for scoring or Hobgoblin can get it. Yeah, from the, from the diagonals from there, Dio, if it goes on the north diagonal, then surely it's going out the back side of the field yeah. anyway, back in. Uh, You're right. That brings the agility hobgoblin into it. If it comes sideways across, the agility hobgoblin's into it, and the other diagonal is where the agility hobgob is. So actually, bouncing out looks great to me. Yeah, and it 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 only vaguely increases the chance of it bouncing out anyway, doesn't it? Like it's only yeah. very oh, marginal and, because he can sidestep to the sideline anyway. <laughs> and he cannot. And the thing is, he cannot really get it with the hobgoblin because he cannot get out of range of just getting served. Yeah. So now it's just it's sleep. You could leap in, so it's two plus, two plus, two plus. It's just a series of two pluses to score off of run away. Yeah. Um, for two pluses to score with a reroll, which yeah. is, of course, for, in this game, seems like a <laughs> task and a half. <laughs> <laughs> he has, he has oh, yes, because the, yes, the plus agility and where it is. Yeah, you're right. No, leap, pick up, and then uh, two dodges in your home. And I think at this point, that's the best plan you're going to get. Plus, you know, a turn 14 score is fine for high elves. Well, yeah, but like we talked about, it gives Rick need to play careful if you want to go for the win. Yes. A nice deep kick, for example, makes it very, very tricky to do that three-turn hurry up with Chaos Draw. It's very doable, of course, particularly with this amount of agility hobgobs and a, a fast bull. But uh, it does put some pressure on. But with your hands, wrestle on, a strip ball wrestle on the other side, you need to really be careful if you're going for that mm. option. Yeah, absolutely. He's still standing up, I think. Oh, no, we're going oh, for the... Gonna blitz. Oh, we can blitz. Yeah, I don't hate that. Yeah, that's a wrestle hit. That's, that's the lead pick up, blitz, bull off, walk in. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. I like yeah. it. That is better. Oh, fuck's sake. Should he have just dodged? No. Nope. Just... Now he scatters it. I don't know if scattering it's good or bad. I guess really? Yeah, I think you'll leave. <laughs> Double one. <laughs> because otherwise it's two plus two plus in tackle. Oh, you could have blitzed. You're right. You could block and you could two plus block. You're right. You could two plus and then do the blitz and then running. Pick yeah, it. so it's, it's still oh, two plus. Yeah. It's just whether you land on the leaping gives you the ball scatter, doesn't it? That's the thing. But you could scatter with yeah, and you could scatter with sidestep if you wanted to scatter later. But he cannot be like, yeah, that's never worked. <laughs> One leap, one. No, yeah, nothing six, was happening. One, one, it's, one, just, one. it's just about the fail state, right? It's just about whether if you dodge, if you double, if you double on the dodge here, you, the ball's still there. If you double on the leap, you could it could go in the crowd or anywhere, couldn't it? I'm yeah. just yes. with it, so I don't know which was better. That's that's no. Um, and probably no one does until we get a fucking blood ball supercomputer, which will be never. <laughs> and, and looking at it, I think I would have done it the way he did it. Um, Simply because if the ball's there, you've only got to move one elf and you picked it up and gone with your agility hobgob. So I would probably risk the bad scatters just because there's a couple of places it's scattered to, like the one it has done, which is sort of not the end of the world for me. Until mm. Rick just... Uh, this is still going to be fine for Rick, but it's, it's a little trickier than the ball being where it was and the elf, you know, one square. Yeah, that was, uh, everything was just once. Was, <laughs> nothing had been working. <laughs> Yeah, the catch was why, a snake as well. <laughs> why has he done that one? Why hasn't he moved the one that's next to the ball? Uh, he's getting blitzed by the piling he's on. Cool, he's going to pile it on. Mm. Yes, he Which, is. And then surely you advance with the ball so that you can pile it on away from the ball and leave the hobgoblin to go and sweep it up. But it's sidestep, so if you 
you have no control of where it's going anyway. Yeah, but you've got more ways to get in, haven't you? No, oh, but the, if the bullet advanced, it, it clears a space for the hobgob to mm, get in. Yeah, yeah you're right. Mm. Oh, you it's the bull. I thought you were the dwarf. <laughs> yeah, the bull. No, the bull, I think, should have advanced, but yeah. it, it will probably all be all right. You know, it's great. <laughs> He'll just foul, if anything, he'll just foul, yeah, he'll foul, just foul a foul. hole open, won't he? <laughs> and he'll kill this one he's blitzing anyway, so... <laughs> yeah. But, he, but yeah, oh, I don't think you scatter that one. If you go to if you go to the side, then then he needs to foul. If you well, just that's, go to that's the, what I was thinking he would do, was, was just put it into a nice little... Yeah. If you go to the side, then he cannot fouling on. And if he picks it up, he's oh, going to be careful on the edge somewhere. And there we go. That's, uh, he should have just gift wrapped it, shouldn't he? <laughs> wow, Rick doesn't pile on! Unbelievable, Jeff! Okay, so that that was his hope anyway, wasn't it? Because he was going to not pile on to leave the route through for the hobgob. Yeah. So perhaps he did have to scatter it, but it's no. it's yeah, we're done. Um, it's some reins of wrestle. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try and sound excited. Let me build up to it. <laughs> yes, there's wrestling range. Ah, oh, I can see the elves getting this ball Ooh, onto the floor. <laughs> An 85 can pick it up if it's a lucky scatter. He can use that wizard that he didn't induce to ball him and then see what happens. Actually, he could, in theory, if he doesn't foul that wrestle, he can hit one dice for the wrestle. Go to the end zone and then on a lucky scatter, the lineman can pick it up and pass. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to yes. foul him though, isn't he? He's hopefully That's... fouling that wrestle. Yeah, he's That's... got to foul that wrestle. Oh, wait a second. No, Ooh. then can tackle not hit instead then? Mm. No, tackle cannot hit. Why did you not foul the wrestle? It's a mm. terrible uh, plan, but the wrestle can hit. I mean, this is this is good though, isn't it, having him there? That's, uh, that stays, that gets in the way. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, but if he, if he stuns that wrestle, then nobody can hit it. Yeah. That's nobody in range. Literally nobody in range. It's still a three two three two two to get two reds on a blodge piece and pushing it away from the touchdown zone where you want it to be. You can, um, you so can do some more trick plus. I'm officially uh, declaring it fine, core. Um, <laughs> but yes, you are technically you're right. Fouling that piece made it ever so slightly safer, but this is fine. And it's Rick. I'm really disappointed. Also, he could have double won the foul, right? And then he's yeah. worse than he is now. So this is this is this isn't bad. At this all. is this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, <laughs> to court dial. This is fine. Oh, it's not. It's just getting L three. The most upsetting thing here is, and this is uh, confirms it that Rick's been diced. Um, is he's not going to get another touchdown on his rookie chorf. Oh no, he's not. Is he? It's just not possible. It's just so, not possible. <laughs> it's going to get the MVP instead. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> And another one. <laughs> hey. It's not already been the Kaz, Tony. It's been the KOs that have uh, have been ruinous to the Elves. They have had some chance, but And the fact that you know, he cannot roll two plus to save his life yeah, yeah. count. <laughs> but we've had one miss next game and a kill. That was all in the first half. We've had a badly hurt this half that was a po app off. Yeah, and a couple um, of kills. Which I understand why, Jimmy, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's almost pointless a puffing a badly hurt in the second half. Yeah, I've, I've really felt he had to apple that miss next, even though miss next is like the worst one to apple. It really is, but I too would have done that. I know it wasn't that great a piece, but... Ah. And if not, I think it's badly hurt in the first half, KO in the second half. Yeah. And that's the other great way to get some value out of the, the apothecary. Yeah. Good to hear Rick versus Nick Necklace. <laughs> That should be good. <coughs> well, Dog to the Dog, I mean, I'd, I'd hate to say we told you so, but that's pretty much what we were saying we would have liked to have seen, is, is both of those options. Yeah. And also, when the elves started to disappear, I said, you know, I think it was end of start of turn two, or certainly three. He needed to think, I either go now, and I, I leap in, I take the red die with strip wrestle, or I run the hell away. And I don't think he took that decision quick enough. No, exactly. Yeah, and you also have a point, of course, for where it was. He could also have done one go for it to get completely out of range of everybody. 
that yeah, was our option as well. I didn't like that. I, I didn't like that because then, then, then the failure state's real bad, isn't it? Mm, I think. Well, the problem is that again, most the scatter, scatter. It means nobody can. It has to be a really bad scatter because most, like, back into the square. I've been he's it. it out already. Yeah. Otherwise, there's still nobody can read you. <laughs> yeah, true. But I mean, the way he did it with there, that, that's t it's asking it's a lot of dice to get the one D on him, isn't it? And even then, getting the one D on him, you've only one in six to work. Like, like, I don't know. I think I, I quite like. What Elp's got a point. This this drive, I mean, there were problems with it, but he solved a lot of them, and it was until that go for it fail, it looked reasonably safe. Having said that, in a previous game, we have seen Rick not mind trying two dodges with that bull. Yeah, um, and I think he may well have tried it again. Yeah, the thing is, you do the first dodge. If it doesn't fail, you can always just hit one of the ones there. Yeah, and because they did in those rules, but you cannot in twenty twenty. No, because you have to declare your blitz target, don't you? Mm. You can mm. not blitz. Yeah, you can so choose not to do the blitz then, but you cannot. You can't select like somebody else. Yeah, it's a, it is a, 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 another nerf to break tackle, isn't it? As well as break tackle just being made worse for like strength four players. It's that just flexibility it's is gone as well in blitz. Terrible, 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 terrible rule. Yeah. Um, apparently, if everyone's on the ground, you can declare a blitz, but without a target, and still move a player that can only move on blitzes. So it, it's sort of pointless for that. Uh, is, and the way it's impacted uh, Blood Bowl is just—I mean, it's now the funniest thing in Blood Bowl—is explaining that rule to someone. And this is a game that's built for comedy. But okay, so when someone targets you with a blitz from eight squares away, you get to throw the ball. Then, brilliant. <laughs> Dumbledore is now officially insane. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I, 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 I don't, I don't like that you can get a lot of protection around the ball, but at least getting it away makes everything harder, doesn't it? So I like that. Uh, Doctor feels bad. I think he just opens the fridge, strokes the latest head, um, maybe picks out a fresh eyeball or something. I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's more than one every. And why are we running out of time, days. Rick? Uh, no matter how much luck he's using up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess oh, that's really? fine. You can get you get the one dice, and then you have eighty-five to pick up the ball if it works. If I'm assuming we're running out of time because he was typing "ha ha get fucked" in chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to the muscle, eh? I think you took oh. a little break to uh, to get an eyeball on a cocktail stick. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. <laughs> two, two go for it with wrestle tackle, then the mighty blow tackle can hit it for one dice and pop it in around the bull, and then 85 can hopefully score. <laughs> Possibly typing, stop ranting me in French, I've never even met your mother. I mean, it, it, you know. Yeah, Rick had to get. He didn't activate this blocker. He could have GFI to to make it a lot harder. He could have just tagged. Either way, he should GFI. He had to reroll, shouldn't he? Rick should have got that GFI in. No excuse for not doing it. No excuse for running out of time on that turn. He should have picked one of the ways, shouldn't he? Either get back most of your team around the ball, or um, or again side there. Yeah, yeah. There's not a lot to it. No, but I mean, I, let, let's let's. I'm going to try to be nice. It's, it's the end of a stressful game. It's gone very well. Suddenly there is a problem you perhaps didn't expect because you thought it was all over and you look at the pitch and you go, oh, actually, I need to make sure I'm safe here too. Ooh, what do I do? So yeah. perhaps that's what's going on, um, which I get. You know, we all... Oh, one, two, three, when you feel the game is actually, won, you don't your, your focus level just drops that tiny bit, doesn't it? And yeah, then no, something yeah. happens where you suddenly yeah. realise it isn't 100% nailed and getting that focus back can be... So two go for it, and then a 4 yeah. plus touch and a 5 plus hit. Yeah. Oh, two plus plus. Dionysian seeing the full toxicity of Rick, that perhaps he is deliberately... Yeah, make the first part! Make the second part! Which, well, Rick's going to catch it. Yeah. This is... What you, why do you push him there? Why do you push him yeah. there? It should be in range of 85. He cannot scatter the other way. Oh, really? He cannot push it in range. true, okay. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. And that's, uh, that's out of range, so he needs, uh, he needs he uh, to catch one. it down in end zone now. Yes, or do you th just three plus the one out on the edge? That catcher. Yeah, yeah, you need that. Okay. Okay. Or you three plus, two plus, because it gets a lot nearer. That's fine. Yeah. Now the AG5's got to come and... One, two, three. He's got a chance, hasn't he? Holy shit. He's going to have to... 
leap in and throw from those two tackle zones, though. Uh, can I dodge out on two plus, can you? And then there's no interception. Oh, oh, yes. oh, I, I missed it was a blitz, uh, and of course it does have another square move. What? Uh, are we Why not doing the two, two throw from no, There, you've indeed. got another square, don't you? Yeah, no, 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 it's a go for it, I think. Yeah, it's a GFI. Um, but I think you do the GF GFI does anyway. I thought, yeah, you do the GFI. Because it's throw. a two plus for interception anyway. Yeah. And you, I it think removes you get all the interceptions. It yes, whether you get out of it, though, if you don't get out of it, then it's a terrible GFI, isn't it? Because he hasn't got dodge. But you have one GFI more, so you can actually get it out of being two plus. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, because he's in two tackle zones. Yeah, so he should, yeah, he should have at least he should have done at least one GFI. Yeah, right, he that's should have done the GFI. Yeah, even even if it didn't stop being the set. Yeah, he had to do the yeah. GFI because it made it easier by one. And he could have tested. It, it didn't look. It went so fast. I'm not sure he even looked at it. No, I don't think he did. No. Oh. Wow. So close. So close, but yeah, he should have done the GFI. No doubt about it, because yeah, the, okay. the intercept didn't even matter if he stopped the intercept. It was making can I now, easier. Can I now unforgive Rick for his turn 16? <laughs> 15, sorry. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. Save, so, like, stay up. Like, he has the chance. Uh, he rolled the, pro probably rolled the dice. He's confident. The more clear we can move out. Um, well, well, there we are. Rick threw to a semi final against Gdanik. Yeah. That's, um, uh, that's going to be interesting with Rick's ability to just get beautiful dice and Gdanik's ability to alter and warp time and reality itself. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. GFI is terrible. Dodges. Probably not that bad because he made some three pluses. Leaps terrible. Passes terrible. Catches terrible. <laughs> but I mean, two of those catches were 50 50s and the pass was a 50 50, wasn't it? So it's not as bad as it looks. But, uh, but it's still bad. Yeah, it was pretty still bad. bad, though. And it's still bad. I mean, although you, it doesn't balance out just because you've had bad dice doesn't mean you're due good dice. But he, he could have kind of thought, I am due a little bit of luck here. And could, and it, it's again, it's. It was not far from. Yeah, and he, yeah, he nearly got the one one, didn't he? At the end, it was so close. If he'd made the right play, maybe he would have done it as well, <laughs> without being super critical. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's obviously understandable that he doesn't do it perfectly, of course. But like, he, he, he nearly did it perfectly, didn't he? Like, you know, he did all of the right things before. It was not the in time crunch. You were not in the time crunch, so you can click this. And Blubber Two allows you to freaking click the squares yeah. and get the numbers. You don't even have to do it in your head. Yeah. You can just click and see what it says and what it shows. But it was right, wasn't it? Even even if it didn't stop the intercept, it was still right because it was one time. I think you do it, and you, if you do the two plus, and if and if you don't use your reroll, re you might even do the second one just to not be intercepted. Now, you you only had one GFI left. I'm pretty wasn't sure. Wasn't it two left? No, I'm pretty sure you had only one left. Oh, if it's only one, then I still think you do it. Yeah, you you do it because it makes the pass easier, doesn't it? Because it's in two TZs. Yeah. So it definitely makes the pass better. But it it's but it doesn't matter. It was close compared to how little he had left. Rick yeah. exactly put the square so he could make that play. Fuck yeah. off, Jimmy. Yeah, ultimately I guess, yeah, you know, he, he did he did nearly all the right moves and he he did great to have a chance, so you know, well done yeah. Marcelo. Oh no, I mean that was a, that was a fantastic turn. Um and I thought the whole second half was pretty well coached. Until yeah. that crap go for it that failed and ruined his drive. <laughs> yeah, and then of course uh, the snake eyes on first action leaping in. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Still, I, I never blamed someone right. for a snake eyes. That's you know it was the no, right. No, no, thing no. To no do, I was not saying. Yeah, but that go for it was not the right thing to do. It was. It was. No. My my point. My point was more that he understandably being a bit disappointed by not scoring. That was. Oh yeah, yeah totally. But that I mean, it, it's a real shame that one poor decision in a half and, but I'm um, unfortunately you know I've said before we all make them I, I haven't coached a perfect turn that I can remember it's certainly not a perfect drive and unfortunately the one real bad decision I thought he took I know we didn't like the uh, yeah that that escaped elf the position it put itself in and then it's second escape as well we didn't like the three plus two plus rather than just a two plus but those are still very marginal calls that if they'd worked mm. would have been nice but that go for it I thought was just a genuine error um, but I'm not, I'm not saying that's terrible I thought the rest of the half was really well coached from the Marseille I thought that chance at the end was beautiful to see and not give up beautiful to take 
just didn't quite come off for him. Yeah, and Rick Rick did what Rick does, didn't he? Um, first half, he removed a bunch of people, scored on who he wanted. Second half, he mud- muddled around the field and then eventually got the hit with a bull, and, and there you go. Happy days. <laughs> and there's not a lot that you can't do a lot of fancy stuff, can you? With like you know chaffs like that, can you? It, it's, he did he did what he had to do. It was fairly straightforward. So congrats, Rick. Yeah, and, congrats. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah, and thank you very much, Purple Chest, and thank you. Very Absolute much. pleasure. I'd have been in the chat if I wasn't in the commentary booth. <laughs> Glorious. And thank you very much, Core. And, uh, You're welcome. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.